Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sports Marketing Talk. Today, we are going to talk about some marketing tips and trends. Blog posts are back on the rise, so stay tuned. Again, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Zach with Creative. So today, we're going to talk about blog posts and how they are back on the rise. In uh, recent years, there have been some speculation on whether or not blogs are relevant anymore in the world of digital marketing. Uh, critics claim that as people's attention spans have become shorter and our daily lives have become busier, blogs are no longer relevant. Many people are starting to focus more on videos, as you can see through this video and I'm doing right now. However, there is an abundance of data that shows that people still have an interest in blogs. Otherwise, social media such as Twitter and Facebook, which rely on news feeds, wouldn't have the popularity that they do. So today, we'll discuss the reasons why blogging is still highly relevant in the digital marketing world and briefly touch on marketing tips for making your blog post more effective. So reasons why the blog blogging is still relevant in uh, 2019. Are you convinced that blogging is dead? Think again, here are some reasons why blogging is still relevant in today's market. Blog posts are great for search engine optimization, or as I like to call it, search engine positioning, search engine uh, marketing. Blogging is one of the simplest and most effective ways to boost your search engine rankings. Written content is still the easiest type of content for search engines to read. Moz cites blog posts as the number one content format that mostly frequently appears at the top of search engine listings. So even if you have five or six service pages on your website, um, having a nice blog campaign um, focusing on long tail keywords are great because you can focus on keywords that no one else is searching for. Uh, let's, let's talk about, let's say that you're a sports team and you want to talk about uh, actually, sports teams use use blog posts on a consistent basis. That's really what brings drives most of the traffic to the, to a sports team's website. But let's say you're an athlete, or let's say that you're a um, a gym, and you're trying to focus on bringing more clients to your website and trying to bring some warm leads in. If you start blogging ten tips on on how to do arm workouts, or ten tips on how to lose weight, or three tips on tips and trends for doing crunches, like things of that nature kind of, they, they bring you authority and Google starts seeing you as you updating content. They put those at the top. It's a way, it's a funnel. It starts bringing people in that are searching for those keywords that no one else is searching for. Number two, blogs are still popular on social media. Many people rely on social media for staying current on events and trends and as a way to easily obtain recommendations or information. Blog posts are great content for social media and we can use across many different social platforms. So something that I like to tell my, tell my, uh, my clients is blog posts are great. I have a few clients that we have blog campaigns going on on, on a month to month basis. Uh, a year down the road, we'll optimize those blog posts and we'll make them even more relevant, which gives even a bigger boost. But what it also does is it gives you recycled content. It starts giving you content, we'll just say even six months in, that you could start saying, all right, now I want to do uh, social media marketing, or I want to start doing videos, or I want to start doing um, other forms of content. You can then recycle your old content, and you could keep utilizing it, saving you some money in the long run. But what it really does is it, it helps getting your information out there even more, and it shows that you're, you're you're staying up to date with blogging, you're staying up to date with your business, and it gets you into the social media world without having to focus too much on creating new content over and over again. Number three, establishes credibility. Now, blogging is a great way to establish your credibility as a brand and a business. Writing about specific topics make you look like an expert in your industry, which leads customers to trust you more. So it's very much like I said in, in, in number one, is if you're, if you're writing about, you know, those, those health tips and tricks for, for uh, let's say the keto diet, for instance, um, 
people are going to trust you. They're going to start they're going to start reading your posts, they're going to start slowly reading your information. They're going to they're going to grow fond of you. They're going to build you're going to build trust with them. And that credibility eventually gets them to come to you and say, "All right, you know, maybe I this guy's this guy's for real. He understands my industry. He's he's understanding what he's doing and he can help me achieve what I want to achieve um, for my health. Um, number four, provides a way to communicate with consumers. So blog posts are a great, great way to interact with your customers and build loyalty like I was just mentioning. While people may not comment on blogs themselves as much anymore, they currently comment frequ frequently on social media posts tied to blogs. This gives you a way to easily have a conversation with people who are likely to be potential buyers. Now, I've mentioned this in previous previous videos, but uh, people have very low attention span these days, and that's why social media social media has forced that. But it also forces you that you have to kind of use social media, sadly to say. But uh, what it does is it gives people if they don't really want to read, you know, go to the blog post and read the five tips. Um, like this, this we'll just use this this blog post as an example. Um, I'm doing all of these. I, I do this for my own business and my clients. It's it's a tactic that works. It's recycled content. It's we we take this information. I send it out and I'll put it on a on a blog post and I will talk to you about uh about these these five tips and tricks when it comes back. This video gets published and what will end up happening is someone may comment on on the social media post and they might go, oh, that's very interesting. Tell me more about how it build, establishes credibility. And I'll be like, oh, hey, you can read the blog, blog post, but how about we set up a call and we talk over it. We'll talk over that situation. And, and then they'll say, all right, thank you. And then they'll probably go to the blog post later on when they're thinking about maybe purchasing services again or talking, thinking about blogging. And they may come to us and say, oh, I, I love that blog post. So that's how you that's how the funnel works when it comes to trying to build credibility and communicating with your consumers. Number five, gives you feedback on how to direct your marketing. Now, blog posts are a great way to receive feedback on your marketing and discover what your customers are looking for. Blog posts that receive more attention are likely to have appealed more to customers in some way. Additionally, the comments that people make on the post or in the social media uh, can give you good insights into what they do or don't like about your, your products and services. For these, So for these reasons, as you're building a, a blog campaign, I say, you know, sometimes it has to do with your long tail keyword research. It just means they're finding your blog post, certain blog posts more. But as you continue to grow year one, year two, year three, year four, and you're updating these blog posts, it's a good A-B testing method. And A-B testing is, of course, being able to test different blog posts from other blog posts and see what people find you. And over time, you might get people like, oh, man, I love that blog post. It really gave me a lot of information. I really appreciate it. You can eventually take that blog post and you can use that certain one to even build higher make it more of a uh, um, more of a credible blog post where you make it a lot longer maybe you throw a video in there maybe you throw some additional keyword synonyms in there and you, you eventually over time start building that credibility I always say focus on a niche um, when you're kind of building a lot of your blog posts if you're just gonna write a blog post about blog posts then that's not gonna work let's say you're again a trainer Focusing on different exercises, and then uh, you you notice that the ab exercises uh, blog posts are working for you more. Damnness, that'd be the one I'd be focusing on when I'm making videos or when I'm talking to clients. So you can get their pain points, you understand their pain points more, and you have effect a much more effective way of selling to them. So, how to make sure that your blogs are effective? In order to make sure that blogs are effective, it's important to make sure that you're appealing to current your current marketing trends. One of the marketing tips that we give businesses who are starting their own blog is find ways to make blog posts interesting, like adding videos, images, like I said earlier, more words. Another is to leverage your social media platforms as a way to maximize visibility. Every time you post a blog post, send it out to your social media platforms. You can email market a newsletter targeted towards certain niches and you can every month show old blog posts again recycling content. The best way to make sure that your blog posts get in front of your targeted audience and are ready ready by the people you want to see them by is by doing that. So again that's just five tips and uh, trends for blog posts and how they're back on the rise. Again, I want to thank you all for uh, listening to Creative Sports Marketing Talk, and I will talk to you all another day.